Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our new lesson based on translation course from English to Urdu, Urdu to English. You can load my address B U K H A R I H A M I D 786 at the rate of gmail.com. So I'll start my lesson. Today our lesson is based on continuous, wherein we have the signs Raha hai, Rahi hai, Rahe hai. Previously we have done on the introduction of it, and now today. Uh, we'll do some more sentences and more translations, so I will start here. So I write here first the sentence Me Ja Raha Hum. Me Ja Raha Hum. So we know that uh, we first in translation we'll bring Me, then we'll bring directly Verb. So I write here I. And then helping verb, we have to introduce here in English, I am going. I am going. So right here, I am going. But when I introduce the object here, when I introduce object here, for example, I will just give example, man. In case of transitive verb, main khana kha raha hu. So in Urdu, we have uh, after this we have object, then we have verb. We have verb. But first, what we have to do here in English? First, we have to do uh, we have to bring here pronoun in English, then we have to bring verb. We have to bring verb. For example, I am eating food. So this food is object and this is subject and it's a transitive verb. Here the action is passed to object and object receives the action. But in case here, you have this very object after pronoun in case of Urdu. Then in case of English, we have to bring first pronoun, then the helping verb, then we have to bring uh, this verb, and then food, then object. So this was uh, the translation of this. But when we have to, now we'll just introduce some verbs here. And after verbs, we'll give some more examples for you in order to make you trend uh, regarding this. I'll write some verbs. Play is the first verb. Then, uh, Sing. Kill. So these are three verbs, and we'll make uh, the translation based on these verbs. So first, I'll write here one sentence. Man. Then I will uh, write dash dash raha. Hmm. And in English, I will also write I dash dash dash. This is called linear relationship, the syntomatic pattern of language. And then we'll go for the vertical relationship. And I will show you the way to go for the vertical relationship. First, I will write here man, kale, man, kale, raha, hmm. Then I will say I am, am, helping verb, playing. I am playing. I am playing. But now what we do here for the practice, which you have to do also, you will replace this. You will replace this. You will replace this very uh, verb. And here you will replace this. For example, instead of kale, I'll write now, me gana, me gana ga, me gana ga raha hum. And here, I am, here you'll write singing. In the same way, you'll replace here, me mar raha Hmm. <coughs> Main maar raha hoon. 
then you replace this playing by singing and then this singing will be replaced by killing. So we'll read it, I am killing. I am killing. First I am playing for main khel raha hoon. Then I am singing main gana ga raha hoon. I am killing. Or main ga raha hoon. If we say singing, then I will say the karahum. Then some more verbs. Play, sing, kill. Now, write. Go and break. For write, we'll replace here. Man, lick. I am here, I write writing. I am writing. Then I will replace it by main ja raha hum. I am and I will replace playing by go. I am going. Main ja raha hum. Then we have break. Main in a stop ja, I will write told. Main tol raha hoon. Here I will say I am breaking. I am breaking. So this way we will get a vertical relationship of the language. So you don't have to write every sentence for the practice. You have to replace only verbs, only the verbs. Now I will introduce this and also the object. We will make some translations based on the verb as well as object. So. I will first rub it. I will rub it here. Some of the objects I will write here. The first object is here. The verb, verb we see here. But now the object. Now the object. I will write here object. You just see. This is uh, this is Uh, see you in our next lecture uh, with some more sentences. Till then, goodbye.